This is how you fake uh, motion blow when, when uh, you don't have a choice, I guess. This is a picture which one of my students shot. It obviously didn't work, so you can see, um, you know, I'm stopped, but it doesn't give you the blur that from a panning shot. So to fix this in Photoshop, you'll have to use one of the selection tools. I'll just show you with a quick selection tool. If you use the quick selection tool and you draw, you'll see that it, you want to try to select just me. And there's a way to do that real quickly. Um, this is this is a quick and dirty way, but the problem with this is if you look over here, ah, I happen to have one of those cow looks there in, my, in me. And so what do I do with that? Do I include it or not? So that's a problem that you'll encounter, or at least that's one of the problems you'll encounter in, in uh, Photoshop, in this way to fake motion in Photoshop. So um, in this case, I'm, I already pre-drew a selection, so I'm just going to go up to my select and load the selection. When I choose load the selection, you see that's been already selected. And then all you have to do is go to select and do inverse. This is the part that's really anticlimactic. You know, you go up there and then you just choose blur, motion blur. And now this little wheel here allows you to adjust the angle of the blur. Right there, it allows you to adjust the angle of the blur. And then the slider allows you to adjust how much of a blur you want to make it. Obviously, um, it doesn't look as good. I'm just going to hide it for a moment and zoom in and show you what I mean. It just doesn't look as good compared to the real thing when it's shot in camera. So, if you rather spend more time in front of the computer, I guess this is what you can do. But for my purposes, I highly recommend you get the technique right in panning. That's it.